Hey guys, so I have like a massive cold at the minute, but it hasn't stopped me making a video. You guys have asked me to do an updated Lush Top 10 for ages, so I thought I'd do one now. So coming in at number 10 is a Christmas product, but I always stock up whenever this guy's around, which has been for like the last couple of years, and that is the Peeping Santa Bubble Bar. This is without a doubt my favourite bubble bar of all time now, taking over the comforter everything this one. If I could only pick one bath product, like one bubble bar, one bath bomb, this would be the bubble bar of choice, the Peepin' Santa. He smells just like the Strawberry Fields Forever Massage Bar and it's just a really nice smell and you just crack him in half and you've got two uses, or one if you're me. Coming in at number nine is a product that I've been using since I started working for Lush. I actually started using this before. Um, I used to use this every time I had a haircut and I still do to this day and I use it every couple weeks if need be and that is Roots. I get through loads of these big tubs so I've got about half left I think I've got one more big tub left to use before I need to buy a new one but it's a really nice minty like hair treatment pop it on your hair it feels nice and cool and cold give it a rub in and leave it for about 20 minutes and then just wash it out but it is really nice and tingly and just makes your head feel Great, it just feels nice, minty and tingly. So the next product is one that was initially an Oxford Street exclusive and now you can get it online and it's a bath bomb and it's called Guardians of the Forest. When this first came out, I was a bit like, meh. <laughs> I wasn't really amused, didn't really like the smell, but it's really grown on me. It smells really natural and herby and not like um, sickly sweet or anything like that. And I'm starting to like green baths. Don't know where that is, but I like, I like this in the water. It's got three different shades of green, I think, and it has some yellow in the middle, so it goes a really, really nice colour. And it smells smells really nice and fresh. I think this would go really well with the grass shower gel or anything Lord of Misrule scented. But yeah, check that one out if you haven't already. The number seven spot would have to go to a product that I think in my initial top ten was either second or first. And that is the Lord of Misrule perfume. I love the smell of Lord of Misrule. I love the bath bomb. The bath bomb should probably be in my top 10 as well, but I've put this in as like instead. But anything with the Lord of Misrule scent, I love and I absolutely love the fragrance. I think I have three bottles of this and it's only down to about there. So I've still got quite a lot left and I hope they bring it back soon. You know what? I'm changing my top 10. Take out Guardians of the Forest and pop the Lord of Misrule bath bomb in there in its place. There we go. Sorted. Taking the sixth spot is a product that I used to actually have the perfume that went alongside with the same smell But I gave it away because I didn't like the smell at the time and now I love the smell that is big shampoo This is a sea salt shampoo if I can open it Looks like that looks like a big clump of sea salt It is really nice It gives your head a nice little scratch as well And I just I love the smell when I first started using it I didn't like the smell and now I really really love it and I like what it does to your hair It really gets rid of product build up gel and gives you a good like fluffiness <laughs> ready to put more product in if that makes any sense whatsoever my cold brain is just like <laughs> next is another Christmas bath bomb and probably one of the first bath bombs I tried at Lush every year when this comes back if it comes back I get loads because I absolutely adore the smell and I like the shape because it's a bit different to a conventional bath bomb if you haven't guessed already it's the golden wonder I, I don't know, I just really love it just because it's square, <laughs> not like a normal circle bath bomb, makes me love it even more, but I love the smell, it's really Christmassy, really festive, it looks amazing and it, it just makes a great present, so if you're trying to give someone a gift from Lush and don't know what sort of bath bomb to get them, get them a Golden Wonder, it's a bit different and a bit cool and I'm sure they'll love it. I swear if I sniff anymore I think my brain's going to fall out. But number four, moving on to the fourth spot is a soap. This soap is also a Christmas soap but I absolutely love it. I didn't know if I was going to put this soap in or the Shooting Star soap that's come in this year. That was going to be my other fourth spot but I've gone for this soap because I've used it for a couple years running now and I still love it. And that is the Baked Alaska. I've got a piece here and I've got a couple blocks over on my shelf there and they're a bit more blue because they're from this year whereas this is from last year. And it's really citrusy, really fresh, not sort of like a spicy Christmas scent that you'd expect. But I just love the colours. It just looks so cool and the shape and design of it are absolutely amazing. But it's really fresh and citrusy, which I wish I could smell more of but my block nose is preventing that. But I love Baked Alaska. It doesn't lather as much as some of the other soaps but if that's not a big deal to you uh, then definitely try it. I'm normally a fan of soaps at bubble but I still love this one so give it a go anyway. 
Top three time. So coming in third place is another fragrance and this shares its scent with a bath bomb that's exclusive to Oxford Street called the Ylang Song, I think the bath bomb's called, and that is Uptown Funk. From first sniff of this I was hooked and I loved it. I think I've got two bottles of this and it's just a really nice fresh smell that you can wear anywhere. Sometimes I wear this to work, I wear this when I go out or even if I'm feeling like hmm I want to smell it a bit more I can spray it <coughs> spray it on my pillows and it just makes my room and bed smell really nice so Uptown Funk is really cool if you don't want to buy like a bottle or something like that then definitely try the Ylang Song bath bomb and if you like the smell of that then you'll like the smell of this a tea sipping break from my Harry Potter mug Coming in at number two, any guesses guys? Do, 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 do. If you guessed user and coca shower cream, you were right. This product is my second favourite product that Lush do. I absolutely adore the smell and it smells incredible. A lot of people think it smells a bit like chocolate oranges. I get that to a degree what people are saying, but I think it smells a bit like chocolate, but, <clears throat> but a bit like vanilla -y as well. Not like the perfume, but like with a vanilla sweet element in it as well. The only criticism I have of this product is I wish it was as thick as some of the shower gels like Bubbly. If this was thick, it would be absolutely incredible and without a doubt be my, one of my favourite products. Well, it is. It's my second favourite product. <laughs> well done, Phil. But I really, really like Yuzu and Coco. When I first started at Lush, I really liked the smell of a bubble bar and wish it came in another format. And it does now, so I love it. The only thing I'm sad about is when they used to do Lush Forum fragrances, they used to do a Yuzu and Coco perfume, and I never got a bottle, and I never, I was never able, I haven't even sniffed the perfume, so <laughs> hopefully one day in the future they'll either bring out the perfumes again or someone will be selling like a Yuzu and Coco bottle of perfume. If you know anyone that is, <laughs> leave me a comment down below and let me know. But Yuzu and Coco is number two on my list of top ten. And number one, my favourite product that Lush have ever created or ever bought out is actually a new number one for me. Since I had the first kind of sniff of it, instantly it's my favourite product. If anyone has guessed what it is, it's the I'm Home perfume. This smells like cookie dough and baking and smells absolutely divine. I love it. Nothing comes close. This is my favourite product. I want to buy all the bottles of this in the universe and just spray it everywhere. I have, I think, two bottles of this. I'm down to about... About, I'd say, three quarters. I spray it, I use it for work, I use it when I'm on the go, I spray my clothes with it, I spray my bed with it. Incredible. Please bring out another product with the smell of this, be it a bath bar, or a shower gel that smells like I'm home or a soap would be incredible. But I just love it. Nothing compares. I'm gonna stop talking now. This is the best product ever, I love it. So there we go guys, that was my updated Lush top 10. Sorry if I've been a bit groggy and a bit sniffly through this video, I do have the cold from hell, but hopefully that will go soon. I'm thinking of doing a Q&A uh, in a week or two, so if you have any questions that you wanna ask me, be it about Lush, be it about music, anything, video games, just leave them down in the comments or message me on Instagram or send me direct messages on Twitter, etc. and I'll pick a random selection of questions and answer them soon. So let me know what your guys' top 10 is, and if you agree with any of mine, especially like the top three, do let me know down in the comments. I shall catch you again next week, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Peace. This lady on my t-shirt is how I feel now. I feel like death. <laughs>